Boom. Hi. Hi, guys. What are you guys doing? Hi. I was brushing my teeth. That's why it waited. That's why it lasted so long. I got out of bed and I was like, I gotta brush my teeth. So I put on the stream starting soon screen and then I went and brushed my teeth. I should probably launch the game. That would be a great idea. So I have a plan today. I have a goal. And the goal, my friends, for today is to finish Fall of Porcupine. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's rather ambitious of you, Alice. I think I can do it, though. I think I can do it. Anywho. I remember you, Blue Skittle. Of course I remember you. And let me look up a walkthrough for how much longer I have my favorite color, pink. Mm. <clears throat> so, essentially, what I'm saying is that I just got out of bed. I almost fell off my chair. It's okay. That would have been horrible. That would have been horrible. <laughs> ah! But good morning, my friends. Good morning, good morning. Um, guide and walk through. Okay, let's take a look. Wow, there isn't one. You know what? I can do it. I, I'm, I'm better. I can do it. You're back on your sister's account. Welcome, welcome. Here we go. I got my soda. I got chocolate covered almonds, guys. <gasps> oh my goodness. I forgot. I saw something on TikTok making fun of people who say I forgot. So... I can't say it anymore, basically. I can't. No longer will I say it, but I got these, um, what are they called? Himalayan salted dark chocolate almonds. They're so good, guys. Mm. So we're gonna be snacking on those to keep my energy up through this long stream. Watch me, um. Watch me finish it, like, in two minutes. Oh man, that didn't go how I expected. Looks like my cell phone has no reception at Gilbert. Mia and Carl both tried to call me. Let's call Carl back. He's been my buddy lately. So for those of you who are not caught up, basically the elderly woman died at the hospital and now everyone's blaming me. And because they're like, oh, you could have done better. Oh, wow. I love how my tracking's broken too. Yay. It's cool. There we go. Easy fix. Easy fix. Anywho. Hey, Finley. I was starting to get worried. What's up? Want to take your mind off things? Maybe grab a beer or somewhere? We could talk if you want. Hey, Celeste. Hi, Dee Dee. Hi, guys. Yeah, I might take you up on that. What were you thinking? Why don't you come pick me up on the high street in a little while? Cool. I need to get out of here anyway. Let's do it then. Oh, wait. I was done. Mmm. Hi everyone! Welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't understand. Why? In porcupine? It's fall in porcupine. And did chat break? I was like, hmm. I just got like a ton of messages super quickly after... Nothing. Chat always breaks. I don't know why. I don't know why. You're Mitsuri. Oh, I remember Mitsuri. I remember you. I remember you. <laughs> it keeps breaking. Mm. Hi, sister. Hey, sisters. Ew. We don't like James Charles here. I don't know why, but he did something. I'm not caught up on, like, the influencer lore. I was trying to, yeah, I was trying to undermine y'all. I was trying to undermine y'all. Anyway, so we're gonna try and finish this game today, and then when I finish it, do I allow minor swearing? I do, but I'm also not gonna moderate it, so if it gets caught by auto mod, I won't approve it just because I don't even have it up. <laughs> yeah, we don't like, I know Tainari's old voice actor. I know what happened with that. Like, why would he do that? Literally, hi. Or literally, why? Did I say hi? I was doing chat, I'm sorry. <laughs> I should play Minecraft? Maybe. Maybe. Never apologize for not being here. Hi, Carl. There you are. Wait, were you meant to be at work today? 
I was. Dr. Theobald let me leave early. Wow, that doesn't happen often. I went to Ermis Funeral Service. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. I think, um... Probably once I hit around 50 viewers-ish regularly, that's when I'll look into getting a moderator. Alright, so I know this sounds awful, but I just couldn't do it. I wanted to go. I got myself ready and I was just about to head out the door when my legs stopped working. They just wouldn't move, but I'll visit her in the glow milk woods. How was it? There was an argument. People said it was my fault Irma died. <laughs> He's so blunt. What? Hey, Miko. I feel like I could never in this game, though. Oh, I want to do short hair, actually. Because I feel like these people, they get so much done before work and after work. And it's like, wh why? I would rather be in bed, you know? I did get monetized. I did get monetized. And I'm chug chugging towards that second tier monetization. It's actually going quite well because you guys were really enjoying my videos. I'm so surprised. But for those of you who may have missed it, I am also now making video game review videos. And they're doing surprisingly well. I'm so happy because I have a lot of fun making them. It's kind of relaxing because I just play the games, you know. I just sort of sit and play the games in silence. And then I record a voiceover later. So let's be peacefully enjoy some games while still making content. Ah, makes me so happy. Who said that? Ralph overheard us talking us. Me and Gregor Glendower. Gregor blames himself for Irma's death. You're here, Heisley Queen! Welcome, welcome! You know, because of the burst of water pipe and all that. Oh, man. Ruff was really angry. And eventually, the others started getting fired up, too. That miserable scumbag. Cheer up, Finley. Don't take it so hard. You know what really happened? After a day like this, you would really deserve a break. You're not late to the party. Welcome to the party. I already guessed that Gilbert's would be closed today. So I brought my very own homebrew beer with me. You brew your own beer? Of course, I'm a man of many hobbies. And where are we headed? To Gilbert's. But I thought, you'll see, I've got an idea. Okay! I don't know how much I trust him, but okay, we'll go, we'll go. You're gonna do your Genshin dailies after volleyball? Ooh, have fun at volleyball, too! And with your Genshin dailies. I've been doing my honkity donkity dailies. Ah! And don't forget my Star Stable dailies. It's Camp Western! Okay, guys, I've got a moral dilemma. So, as some of you may be aware, I am now a proud, regular- Wait, can, do you guys have my audio before I just launch into this? Okay, good, yes. I'll turn it up still for you. Anyways, I am a proud um, player of Star Stable Online now. And you see, this weekend is Double Star Coins weekend. And while I'm not entirely made of money- I do have a little bit of adult money. Therefore, therefore, is it worth it to buy $70 of star coins? All right, here we are. It doesn't look like there's anyone else around. It's just like I expected after a funeral, people usually head to the glow milk woods together to take the memorial figure into its new home. So what now? Wait here, let me get the key. Wait, wait, are we breaking in? Wait, this is bad. Yeah, spend my life savings on an MMO for children? Why not? Why not? That seems like a great idea. <laughs> and that's the key? Yep. The key to our very own private roof terrace. Are you serious? Dude, no, we can't do this. He has bad ideas. This is a bad choice. Of course I am. You think I'd run all the way here for a joke? Come on, it'll be fun. It is not fun. He already hates us. He already hates us and now we're breaking into his home. You went to old Irma's funeral service today, right? How was it? Bad. It was nice. Hard, though. You're not late. You're not late, cat. Welcome, everyone who's coming in. Sounds like a funeral worthy of a movie. I know you like the old lady, but it's the same for all of us. I've known her since I was a kid. She was already pretty old, even back then. And Guilian has always been like a big brother to me. He looked after me sometimes after school. Kind of weird that we still hang out so much. But I like the old slugger just as much as I liked Irma. She looked after me sometimes too. You guys, welcome everyone! You're not late, you're not late, Atsu! Griliano was out of town a lot, sometimes for weeks at a time, so she would tell me stories. Great times, yeah. I ignored every single one of her stories. I'm a bad person! It's okay, Gamers List, welcome back! Welcome back to more live streams. I got to hear a few of her stories too, I did not. Really? I had no idea. 
Did she tell you the one about the soup gnome? Or the great sugar quake? Maybe. No, I never heard those ones. That's all right. I can tell you them sometime. I know all her stories by heart like I was there myself. Oh, that'd be great. Thank you. I still don't want to hear them. I still don't want to hear them, though. It was a good idea coming up here. Look at the sky. The snow keeps the beer nice and cold. But somehow I don't actually feel cold at all. Yeah, it's nice here. Thanks for inviting me. Hey, no biggie. Guys, guess what? In just a few weeks, I can drink beer. That's right. I'm turning 21. Ah, it's party time. Ah! I figured you need a little pick-me-up. And cheering people up is my specialty. I'll be sure to give you a good review. Thanks, but it's time to face back because we've got a problem here. Yep, enough chit-chat, Finley. I like you a lot. But when times get tough, it's every man for himself. Behold, the last beer. The last beer. So what are we gonna do? There's no sugar coating it. Agreed. Well, that's that then. We decide this here and now. You or me. There's only one way to settle a matter of such grave importance. The same way our fathers did in their fathers before them. <laughs> we took it out. Oh no! Bring it up. Wait, don't fight. Wait! Why are they... F okay, snowballs. That's good. That's good. But we are on a roof. We gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. Anyways, I'm gonna go get a mimosa from Cracker Barrel. Ah, I love Cracker Barrel, so I hope it's yummy. I, I'm gonna get their cornbread, too. I quite like their cornbread. I don't really like their food, not gonna lie. I always say I love Cracker Barrel, but that's because their cornbread is just so incredibly next level that it makes it so that the other food doesn't matter and that's why I can love Cracker Barrel. I literally just get their cornbread and a baked potato sometimes when I go. <laughs> I got a little army hat. Oh. <laughs> we got a little army hat. How cute. I don't think I'm gonna be getting this beer. Not gonna lie. This is uncomfortably long, what do I do? Okay, I think I had to trigger it. Like that? Nice! I did it! And the Fruity Pebble Pancakes, oh my brother used to get those! Um, excuse you? I, ex wait. Oh wait, oops, I hit the wrong button, my bad. Can he just not miss, too? Can he not miss? The Grimace Shake. I didn't get the Grimace Shake. I don't like mixed berry stuff. Guys, this beer will not be mine. It just sort of won't be mine. But you know what? That's okay. I didn't need it anyways. I did not need it anyways. It does remind me of this... Uh, those <laughs> mobile ads, doesn't it? <laughs> Oh, he missed! <gasps> thank you so much for the gifted memberships! Thank you, thank you! And thank you, thank you, Natal Kappa! Thank you so much! <gasps> I think I gotta go up a little bit. If you guys don't have membership gifting, you can click on the present to enable it, and then you'll get a free membership! <laughs> Natal is a legend. They're a legend here. Haha, <laughs> he can't hit me either. I think I went too high. There we go, there we go, there we go. Congratulations to everyone who got membership! Congratulations and thank you so much to the Takapo! Thank you, thank you! Wow, I hope that he hits me because I certainly am not going to hit him. We're stuck! Stuck in a stalemate. Please? Please! Oh! Yes, thank you so much and congratulations! Oh man, okay, we were just slightly too high, right? So just a little bit lower, right? Just a little bit lower should be good enough. Oh, thank goodness! Thank goodness! Ow. I did not get the beer. But that's okay, because drinking is bad for you. 
Alcoholism is never okay, kids. Ice cold, Finley. Ice cold. Go ahead, take the last beer you've earned it. Wait, but I lost. I lost! Did it just not expect me to lose? I'm honored you were a worthy adversary. I'll get you back next time. I lost! Hey, you two. Can we no up here, pal? We've still got some beer left. No, we don't. How did you guys get up there in the first place? Don't you want to come inside? No way, dude. Get your butt up here. Jeez. <laughs> Hello, sir. Where have you been? Oh, I don't know. I was at the mourners in the glow milk woods. We put up my mother's memorial figurine. We found a real nice spot. She'll like it there. Hey, Guiliano. <laughs> Ow. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry about what happened at the funeral service today. In that room, I passed away. I would have loved to have met her outside of the hospital. I only knew her a few days, but I was really fond of her. I'm going to miss her. I really need to blow my nose now. Oh my goodness. Life is pain. <laughs> I did it! Wait, where'd I put my almonds? There's my almonds. They just sort of disappeared. I'm going to miss her. I'm back. Finley, you did nothing wrong. It's me who should be apologizing. Look at us growing as people. I wasn't there when. Yeah, please stop spamming me, goo! I've been trying to hide away from it all. I was scared. Scared of that one call, seeing the hospital's name pop up on my caller ID. I- Grandma? What? <laughs> I just couldn't bring myself to go to the hospital. I couldn't be there for her. I left her all on her own. I think I want to do a Bandoria Girls Band party members only stream so you guys can join that. And we're going to do that sometime in the near future. Look forward to it! And that breaks my heart. It'll be unarchived too because you can't keep Bandori not unarchived unless you've got a partnership with them. This is not your first stream kill. Thanks for being there with her, Finley. Caribbean. When I was streaming on Twitch, there were, I had a white-haired VTuber model that was like my placeholder model, and I think it might have been a bot or something because I got so many different people coming in and telling me, you're old, you're gonna die soon. It's like, okay, what? Literally, what? Who says that? Hi, Lucas. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for making sure she wasn't alone. You know, the night she died, she told me a story. It was about the hibernation festival, and she was hoping that's where you were having a great time with all of the people of Porcupine, that you'd associate the night she died with a positive memory, and that you'd remember all the hibernation festivals you celebrated together when she was still in good health and happy. And that's the, that's the last time you spoke to her. And that the last time you spoke to her wouldn't be at the end. She wanted you to remember her as she was. At the hibernation festival. You're gonna eat sprinkles? I like sprinkles. Thank you for telling me that. It means a lot to me. There's a one, like, super alt-right person who used to make those videos that everyone would meme on, and there was one where he was eating ice cream and literally dipping it into the sprinkles as he ate it, and I know that he's, like, a bad person, but also, that's kind of me. And with my ice cream, <laughs> grab me now! Oh, man, these last few days have been exhausting. I'm so tired, I could just pass out. Don't do that, sir. Is there anything else we can do for you, buddy? I just need some sleep. I haven't tried fairy bread. I've heard of it, but I've never tried it. I need to get Gilbert's open again. Maybe I should try it. I hope you guys will still come and see me plenty. Oh, for sure. If it wasn't for you, there'd be no fun in this town at all. You know, you could build a rooftop terrace up here in the summer. Just picture it. I'd spend every minute of every day here. How do you get membership? It costs money. You can hit the join button unless you're on Apple because, um, I think. So what happened was that, um, Apple started taking a cut out of the donos or whatever. So then YouTube, like, pulled the membership button from it. So you'll have to do it on browser if you have an iPhone. 
Oh, why don't you just make milkshakes for yourself? That seems like extra work. Mold wine and winter cocktails in summer. It'd be awesome. Yeah. I could do that, you know. Night, guys. And take care of getting down. Oh, we'll come with you now. The sense of freedom up here is great and all. But I'm starting to shiver my toes off. Same here. Look at my little hat, though. It's so cute. I'm glad we got a chance to talk. Me too, my friend. You thought he was trans? That's funny. Yeah, Jim Charles is very controversial. Bread, butter, and sprinkles. I don't have bread. But I do have butter. But I don't have sprinkles. I'm missing most of the ingredients. I can't wait to get a good night's sleep. Good night, world! We're speed running it. We're gonna go, go, go! And guys, guys, guess what? Guess what? I did something. I did something great. Um, the short for today is ready! Ah! So it's gonna be posted at 11.30 automatically. Isn't that magical? How much money do I make doing YouTube? Um, not enough. Not enough. YouTube is not a, um, proper career, guys. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. But most of my money does come from my job. I think I made, like, um... I don't even know if I'm allowed to tell you, honestly. I made some money. <gasps> welcome! Welcome! Welcome, Mike! Thank you so much for the membership! But, I really... Like I said when I was smaller, I really don't want anyone to be inspired to quit their job and go out and start a YouTube channel because of my content. I'm gonna wait for the bus because we're speed running it. But thank you so much, Mike. Thank you for your support. Thank you, thank you. Also, reminder, reminder. Um, As of right now, the $10 tier is the only tier that gets access to the members only live streams. You might be thinking, why? Why is this? And that... Is that, let's wait a minute because there's gonna be story stuff. So that is because Patreon is still active. No one can join Patreon, and I have encouraged every Patreon patron to cancel their memberships because it is being merged with channel membership. So around mid-August, all of the patrons are going to drop off, and that is when like the membership live streams and stuff are going to be moved down to the five dollar tier, and the ten dollar tier is going to get the Patreon rewards. So look forward to that. So, don't be thinking, it's not forever, it's not forever. Right now, it's just to separate the $10 and the $5 tier, right? But, once Patreon gets merged, then the tiers are gonna change up a little bit, so everyone will have access to the live streams, okay? I might give you a everyone access now anyways, I haven't decided, because do we really need a differentiator? Like, there's gonna be one in the future, so... It's fine, I'll decide, I'll decide before I do the first member live stream. I'm telling you, St. Ursula's Hospital has got to go. It's literally the only hospital. It's literally the only hospital here. How many of you have suffered here? How many? Oh, the fees go up every month, but the quality of the treatment gets worse and worse. The staff are overworked and the building is falling apart to boot. But we keep on accepting this. But we keep on sacrificing our loved ones to this hospital. It's the only hospital. No, absolutely not. What? What's this about? She died of old age, basically. Ah, there's a specialist. What are your plans for the day, con artist? Let me pass, Ralph. Go ahead. I'm sure you've got plenty of corrupt shenanigans to be dealing with. I want to see how many more lives you take before someone stops you. That's right, get lost! Down with St. Ursula's! Down with St. Ursula's! They went to the salon without you? Oh no! The plant, my plant died a long time ago. I don't think she's gonna give me a new one. I think too much is going on. Here we go. Oi! We're speed running it. I ain't gonna talk to the receptionist. And people are so mean. I was like, she literally couldn't have been helped. But they don't care. It seems your whole fan club is here today, Finley. And not just that, Dr. Theobald's so now waiting for me. You're a popular doctor today. Have you seen Dr. Theobald around? I certainly have. He's in our break room, which is why I'm keeping out of there right now. We've been clashing on a few matters lately. As such, I don't have much desire for small talk. I heard he wants to talk to me. Of course he does. Please keep it brief. We have work to do. He's gonna fire me. He can't fire me. Why would he fire me? I literally did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. These people are just dramatic. And they don't understand that sometimes... When you get sick enough to go to the hospital, 
you don't come back. That's just life, unfortunately. Dr. Theobald, have you heard about the people in front of the building? Of course. Oh, he's so mean. But first, I have a question for you. Did you go to Mrs. Tacoma's funeral service? Yeah. And I think it helped me. Thanks for the tip. I'm afraid I'm partly to blame for the protest, though. What do you mean by that? Well, the funeral seemed quite normal at first. But then they started saying it was my fault Irma died. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> um... <clears throat> You know, there's one thing you unfortunately need to be aware of working here. When you work at a hospital, problems become part of your daily routine. Generally speaking, someone comes to us with a problem. Sometimes the problem can be fixed, but sometimes, however, unfortunately, it cannot. We don't have secret superpowers. All we can do is make people feel like they were before. That is our business, day in, day out. When we succeed, we are rarely rewarded with positive words or deeds. Yet if we fail, a negative response is never far away. That's the way it is, sadly, and our profession is far from unique in that regard. And that's so true with hospital workers. I'm sure you're familiar with the phenomenon yourself. We don't get a chance to provide a diagnosis until something's already not behaving as it should. So what can we do to get these people to calm down? Don't worry about it, please. I will not allow my staff to be attacked or harassed. I'll talk to the protesters and sort things out. Yeah, okay, and what can I do? Do your job. Help those who need help. Solve as many problems as possible, even though not all of them will be solvable. Okay, I wish you the best of luck. Here we go. Oh my goodness, so I don't play Roblox very often. <gasps> thank you so much for stopping by, Celeste. Thank you, thank you. I don't play Roblox very often, but the other night I was like, you know what? I might just hop on for a little bit. You know, hop on, hang out. I want to play this game called Sim to Life. That's the one that I was talking about that I couldn't remember what it was called that I played when I was a little kid. And I was like, we're going to go down heckin' memory lane here. But then, Roblox is down. Roblox was down, literally. I never play it in the one time that I'm like, hmm, maybe I'll just hop on for a little bit. It's not even up. Hey, Boba Frog, welcome, welcome. I imagine you have questions. I'm sure you want to know how I feel about all this, whether I'm worried about that little protest down there. Let's both do ourselves a favor and skip that part of the conversation. Please get started with your assignments for today. We'll talk later. <coughs> yeah, it was down the other day. Why? Literally, why? Let's go take care of my patients. Time to be a good doctor. Is that the guy who said he had alcoholism? I think so. Hello, sir. You were at the funeral. Good day. Thank you for agreeing to examine me so soon. I'll be happy to pass on your appreciation. What can I do for you? First of all, call me Ted, please. I don't like to stand on ceremony. Me neither. I'm Finley. Pleased to meet you, Finley. Now, what can I do for you? It's my lungs. The weather's doing a number on me right now. I need regular checkups. I have an artificial heart valve. Then there's that severe hypoxia. You're saying your blood isn't being supplied with enough oxygen? Exactly. I get by, but I'd feel better if someone gave me a once over. Sure, allow me. I'm a bad doctor, though. He should trust me. It's okay, sir. It's okay, sir. I know what I'm doing. I, I haven't done this in a while, guys! Um, I hate to inform you, but you're dying. You're dead. Uh, my bad. I'm sorry to inform you about this fact. Your legs are fine. No, they're not! Your heart, too. I didn't know you could hear a heart valve. Haha, uh, yes. No bad party to come. The fact that I did so badly and he's like, it's fine, makes me think it's not fine. Ingrid downstairs can write you a prescription for your medication. Great, that's it. I got fast service. By the way, things are a little crazy around here right now. Be careful when you head out the door. I noticed, yeah. Uh, sorry, sir. I'm... Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't do this, guys. I'm a bad doctor. The first time, the first time I play that mini game every stream, it goes horribly. I need to like have a warm up or something. Oh no, Mr. Hippo! Oh, I remember that. What's all that racket out there? Just an angry mob of people dissatisfied with our work. Oh, what do they know? They don't have the first clue how difficult our work even is, do they? How are you doing today? You tell me. That's why you're here, isn't it? All right then. I didn't do it on purpose. Okay, we need an orange one. That one. This one. I 
have one too many. Okay. So I know we'll need that one. And we'll need that one. We don't have any that decrease green, so we'll have to go with that one. Okay, so now what do I need? I need... Orange? There, there, there! That's four! That's four! See? Oh, wait! No, the purple was way over, wasn't it? Oh, no! How did I not notice that? How did I not notice that? Your liver readings are improving, but I'm afraid you'll need to stay with us for a few more days because I just overdosed you. Well, has it killed me yet? That's why you're stuck at the pleasure of treating me. Thank goodness for that. Don't let it go to your head. I know what the situation is in this hospital. Even I need to put up with an apprentice doctor. I've not forgotten my duty to teach the next generation. So go ahead, learn something. I'm not doing a good job today at this hospital. Oh my goodness. I am causing havoc. Oh my goodness. Your house flooded. That's not good. My house flooded once, but it was just the, the bottom part. During a storm, it came in through the window. I hope you get it all cleaned up. Hello. Hello, Mr. Doctor. Guess what? My tummy ache's gone. I'm so happy for you. And my mom is coming to pick me up today. Great. Shall we give you one last checkup before you go home then? <laughs> I don't have any great... I don't have great patients like you here very often, so I need to make the most of it. <laughs> um, I feel like they would be better off not getting this checkup from me. But you know what? It's fine. I'm a doctor. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm the best doctor there ever was. See, here's a vein. We're gonna stab it. Stop shaking. It's fine. It's fine. There. There. A. A. I did good. A. A. Ah, I did it! Well, you've got just about the healthiest tummy I've seen all week. My colleague gave your mom a letter for your pediatrician earlier. Now you need to be careful what you eat in the future, okay? Can you promise me you'll do that? Yes. Dr. Gerda said the same thing, that I should listen to you. And you know what? What? She says you're a good doctor. I'm not. I'm not a good doctor, really. Yes, because you made my tummy ache go away. And she says you made her tummy ache go away, too. But you know what else? No, what? Dr. Gerda's a good doctor, too, because she made my homesickness go away every night. You're right there, Emma. My colleague will take you down to see your mom in a minute, okay? Take care, Emma. Bye-bye. Ah, bye-bye. Here we go. Your house is not to get flooded. Well, that's not good. Hello. I failed, but that's okay because no one died. I have a lot on my mind right now. Let me take a quick look at... Oh, you're going to have more on your mind now. <laughs> Smiley face. I did good. I did good. I understand all too well that you're under a lot of pressure right now. Nevertheless, your performance is solid. No, it's not. There's hope for you yet. I have some organizational tasks to deal with. Have a nice evening. Take care of yourself. Do you think the protesters are still aside? I expect Dr. Theobald's dealing with that. Don't worry so much, Finley. These kinds of things can weigh you down. But it'll all blow over in a few days. You've got the day off tomorrow. Sleep in late. Time off is precious. Enjoy it. Time off is precious. Do I have today off? I certainly hope so. I think I do. I think I do. I don't think they give me a shift today. Time to check with my work. I was going to do this earlier, but I forgot. Yay! Alice has no work tomorrow. Did they update my pay? Still no. Jeez, why is taking so long? Here we go. My Hero Academia. I've still never seen it. Better not go out there, kid. What? Why? protests still going strong i've called the police already but they say there's nothing they can do yeah right your colleague thought better of it just now too i think she had tears in her eyes i wanted to say something but she turned back inside and ran right past me you mean mia where did she go don't know back upstairs i think and dr theobald wasn't he meant to talk to the protesters i don't know anything about that either i haven't seen him at any rate he probably got held up by his luxury vending machine again i'm going to go check on him 
You do what you need to do, kid. We can't change what's going on out there right now anyway. Make yourself a coffee and wait for it all to blow over. That's what I say. Oh, man. I hope I'm getting paid for this. Free overtime. No work. Coffee is yummy. I'm probably going to go to the store today and get more oat milk. That way I can make myself a nice coffee. I'm going to pick myself up some lemons, I think, and some oranges. And I'm going to slap them bad boys in some water and yassify my water. Because I feel as if I don't drink enough water. Dr. Theobald, are you there? Look at that picture of him. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> what did he do, quit? Dr. Theobald? Where did he go? Looks like he was here not long ago. Maybe there was an emergency? Protesters got him. The shelf always looks the same. Everything's still where it was this morning. It's like Dr. Theobald's just vanished into thin air. Maybe he fell through a rift in time and space. He could be living in another dimension right now. A world where pizza can cure cancer. Maybe. God, God, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, thank you. Hello. So, Finley, we meet again. Does the boss have time right now? I need to talk to him. Dr. Theobald's not here. His office is empty. What? It's strange. I mean, Theobald usually leaves the doctor's office open, but only when he's actually in it. Have you seen him around today? Nope, that's why I'm here. The people in the ward can't sleep with all that commotion outside. I was going to ask Dr. Theobald for help last resort before I go out there and kick some butt myself. He probably joined them. I spoke to him this morning. Don't talk about pirating! Websites in my chat, please. I spoke to him this morning. He assured me he was going to smooth the situation over. Well... Guess that didn't happen, huh? Dot dot dot. I just bumped into Mia too. She was pretty upset, poor thing. Mia, what's wrong with her? No idea. I called after her, but she ignored me. She just said that Mr. Arns was back. Mr. Arns? Yeah. You remember that old geezer, right? Why is he back? Always with the questions. Grandpa was sent to the best rehab money can buy at our expense. Then he's not back here. Two minutes before he goes and poisons himself. Probably thought it was wood oil. His wood oil was a bottle of gin? Is he? Of course not. What is it with you in drama? Which way did she run? Upstairs. Arns is on the fourth floor. That's the one from the very beginning. From the very beginning. They're protesting my hospital because someone died in it. But it's a hospital and she was like 100 years old. If I had to guess, I'd say she's up there. I'll go take a look. All right. Guess I'll hunt down the boss. And thank you. No problem. Here we go. Wee! I like how the elevator just takes me where I need to go. Like, if I don't know where I need to go, elevator. And it'll just teleport me there. Here we go. Oh! It's a donkey. I like the pelican. Mayhap I should be going the other way. You know, the way with all of the people. Yeah, that would be a better idea. That would be a better idea. Let's go the other way. Wee! <laughs> Here we go. The name of the game is Full of Porcupine. You play as a doctor. A pigeon doctor. Hello, sir? Mia! Mr. Arnes, could you listen to me for a moment, please? I don't have to put up with this. I already told you I didn't steal any blueberry pudding. And why didn't I get a pickle with my dinner today? Mr. Ernst, please, I need your help. Why does everyone keep asking for my help? I just want to be left alone. Who are all these people out there anyway? Clear off, you're not getting my money. Mr. Ernst, he's gonna die too and they're gonna be mad. Mia, Finley, there you are. What's going on here? I, I want to do something. I have to do something. What happened? Why are you talking to Mr. Ernst? I was just on my way home. Those people, they're so angry. They called me names and threw things at me. I can't go on like this anymore. I'm here to help people, aren't I? Why are they getting on my back for that? I know, Mia, I know. Last time Mr. Arns was here, he was barely responsive. I was hoping to ask him about the night of your accident. Maybe he knows something. That's not a bad idea. Mr. Arns, can I ask you something? What is it now? Buddy daddies! I know that one! You... I don't like Chainsaw Man, it's gross. Too scary for me. 
It's okay to lurk. Don't feel like you have to chat. Don't I know you, sunny boy? Yes, we met before. You were at this hospital a little while ago last fall. You had an accident. Do you remember? I, um... Yes. I know your voice. What happened exactly? Tell me. We were looking for you. We think the broken elevator took us both to a disused ward. I found you there. You were injured. Oh, that was you? Yeah, I was gonna be like, you saved my life! I was just trying to get back to my room. I don't know how I ended up in that place. What do you remember about it? Not much. I'm not as young as I was. I was looking for my room. The hallway was completely dark, but someone had left a desk lamp on. There was a bed covered in folders and paperwork. And then? Then I heard your voice. Not the most pleasant way to wake up. And that's not even mentioning the headache. Is that all you can remember? No, after that I was back in this blasted hospital. My time at that rehab place was worth it though. I've not had a beet lasagna that was that delicious since I was a kid. Yes, welcome to the Lurk community. I'm a lurker in other people's dreams. Okay, thank you, Mr. Arns. You've been a great help. What does it mean? A lot. He remembered the desk, Mia. That bed I saw on the fifth floor with the documents on it. Carl said there was nothing there. But Mr. Arn saw it too. Exactly. So what now? We need to let Carl know. Maybe he'll know what to do with this information. Oh, it's a mystery. There shouldn't be anything up there. Hey, Carl, what are you up to? I'm just calling him. Wait, do you have a hidden camera in my apartment? I was just about to call you. Things are starting to get out of hand here. Mia and I want to do something about it. What a coincidence. I was thinking exactly the same thing, but he has bad ideas. Come on over. I've already got an idea. Wait, have you ever been to my place before? No. I live on the high street next to the bakery. Oh, how cute. Got it. We're on our way. Here we go. We're gonna go to our friend's house. Take the elevator. Hey, Quill. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Here we go. I got my little hat on. She's gonna be cold, though. She's still in her uniform. There she goes. Hi, guys! We might want to go around the back. Yeah, good idea. Why? I'm not a coward! Why are they only on one side? What does that mean, cat? What does that mean? What? Is this threatening? I don't understand. I don't understand if this is a reference or if this is just threats. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a homestuck thing? Okay, okay, okay. That's what I assumed. That's what I assumed. From the homestuck profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> I've never read Homestuck before. So I don't know anything about it. <laughs> uh. Wee! Down the hill we go. I'm running. I'm leaving her in the dust. Don't read it. It's awful. I tried to read it at the beginning. And I mean, I'm sure it's great. I'm sure it gets better. But when I was looking into it, it said that um, a lot of the like content of it, you kind of had to be in the moment to enjoy fully. And I can definitely see that because I thought it was a little weird. I didn't quite understand it. And I didn't expect the people to look like that too, you know? I really didn't expect the people to look like that. Hey, they are welcome, welcome, welcome. Because... You know, you always see the art and stuff of them, and then they're just like little, little heckin' guys. Like, what? I was so confused. You're not late. You're not late. You're never late. No one's ever late to an Alice stream. Here we go. Wee. I think, okay, okay, I think I might make Star Stable online videos as well as my regular game review videos, because... I was watching this other Star Stable Online person and I was like, wow, these videos suck really bad. Like, they don't suck really bad, but no hate, no hate. I, I'm not fixing to start drama. I shouldn't have said that. Um, They were very long, I think, for the purpose of just squeezing more money out of people. So I feel like if I do Star Stable videos, then 
I can help people with a more clear and concise way because I don't care about money. Here it is. Yeah, I feel like they're intended for children and they're just so long. Like, why do I need 15 minutes telling me the location of one NPC? That's going to change in a day. Like, we can easily make that a 30 second video, right? Hello? Hey, Carl, it's us. What's the password? Password? You didn't give us a password. Hmm, true. I guess that one's on me. Can you let us in, please? It's pretty cold out here. Not without the password! Hold on, I just need a minute to think of one. <laughs> ah! Okay, alright, I've got one. The password is Mango. Keep it to yourselves. Don't pass it on. Great, will you let us know? Not until you give me the password! Ah! Mango. <gasps> ah, it's you guys. Very good, very good. Well, what are you sitting around out there for? Come on in, it's way too cold outside. 14 out of 20? That's still good! That's so good. When is it going to end? I don't know. Probably, it depends. It depends on what time it is when I finish the game. Because we are finishing this game today. I promise. What got me interested in Fall of Porcupine? The fact that I got it for free. And I saw it on TikTok. And then Finley came along. Mr. Arndt hasn't exactly confirmed that. But he said he remembers stacks of folders and a bright light. It was free! That's why it says sponsored. That's why it says it contains sponsored content because this is sponsored! Technically. Technically, it's, uh... YouTube considers it a paid promotion since I was given the game for free to play on my channel. Hmm. What are you thinking, Carl? I think that all fits together. I used my involuntary vacation to do some thinking. I never liked this whole situation right from the start. He's gonna quit. First, though, I need to apologize to you, Finley. I was never quite sure if you'd been imagining things or not when you had your accident. But I can see now that you were onto something. So what are our conclusions? Now we need to go deeper. Deeper? You know, I'm the longest serving member at, of staff at St. Ursula's after Ingrid. I do the rotas, manage our inventory, and put our orders together. What are you getting at? We need to go to the hospital's document archive. Oh, that could be where we find the answers to what's going on here. You mean the big storeroom in the basement? Mm, the style is so cute. It is on Steam. It is on Steam. I was just gifted a key, but you can buy it on Steam. Surely we can't just walk in there. No, the storeroom is always locked. Even though I don't have access to it. But I have an idea on how we can get in there. It'll require perfect teamwork, though. This is a delicate matter like an ornate glass figurine. We need to consider our every move carefully like chess grandmasters. Wow, you've really put some thought into this. Of course I have. So listen carefully. Alice is good at rapping. I am good at rapping. I think so, me personally. But not live, because I get too nervous. <gasps> Old Glendower has all the keys to the building in his office, including the key for the archive. That's the one we need to get. And how are you going to do that? Sometimes Gregor stays at the hospital late into the night. Seems like he's got some kind of project he works on in his office after hours. I don't know what it is, but he sure puts a lot of time into it. And over the course of many, my many night shifts, I've noticed something. He's suspicious at exactly 1 a.m. every night. He leaves his office and sets off to see Ingrid. <laughs> I love Callie! I love Callie! She's my favorite! <gasps> yes, that is slowly he sits out on his trusted path, step by step. Foot by foot. There he goes, he's a little armadillo. You know, they carry leprosy! His mind never straying from his goal. Until he finally reaches Ingrid's desk. The two always spend a while chatting. Then Gregor grabs a coffee and heads back to his office. And you know what? When he goes on this little walk, he never locks his office. That gives us the perfect window to get in there. Finley, you wait until Gregor leaves his office. You watch Idle Yen? Oh, I love Idle Yen! <laughs> ah, there's so many new agencies that are springing up that are doing so well. <gasps> there you go. Oh, look at me! How cute! That's when you go in to look for the archive key. Sounds good, but he must have lots of keys. It'll take me a while to find the right one. You gotta go now? Oh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for stopping by. Ah, no problem. That's where Mia and I come in. Word on the street says you're a talented actress, Mia. What? Mia? Mm. My favorite new agency? I really like Idol Yen, honestly. 
but model wise a in project not kiki locker though but i quite like like a uh, kilia's model and what's her name skies i feel like kiki goes a little too far though not gonna lie good evening my dears what's with the disguise just not her not her just her design i'm on leave right now right it's best if i stay incognito while i'm at the hospital for now i don't want any more trouble okay good now where was i <laughs> please pay no attention to me i'm just an old fragile little granny just here to visit her little son i suppose i'd better head up to his room it's carl oops scream Oh my, my hips, such pain. Ah, <laughs> Don't worry, I'm coming. Yes, you need to be 18 because it is a job and um, jobs are allowed to have requirements like that. Fear not, I am a competent junior doctor. One thing that I really don't like is VTuber agencies. Too many people treat it like a heckin' sweepstakes or something. Like some sort of giveaway instead of, you know, a job application that you're, um, heckin' applying for. I'm a competent junior doctor. Too many people are like, oh, wow, these people don't deserve it. And it's like they were more qualified. So, like... I'm here to help this poor old lady. It looks like she took a bad fall with no outside interference whatsoever. What's this now? If you get a costume, I want one too. After all, I'm playing the courageous doctor in shining armor. All right, I guess. Don't they know Mia? She literally works there. As I was saying, I rushed here now. Right now, to help this injured person. This looks bad. You there with the broom. What, me? You look strong. I implore you, help me with this old lady. What's with the amateur dramatics? No drama here, sir! This is serious! I need to make sure that this person has not sustained any more severe injuries! Hmm, alright. That's a little weird cat, not gonna lie. Do you wanna be a streamer? Yes, it's okay to start streaming as a hobby and then... And then, if it's successful, that's when you turn it into a career. Because... Guys, it's not going to be instantaneous success. The key is ours. The perfect plan. Now there's just one thing left to do. Head down to the basement and enter the document archive. Did you guys know that if they explain the plan while you're doing it, then it's going to succeed? But if they explain it beforehand, it's going to fail. That way you understand when, like, exactly it failed. But there's no need for... Did you see that? There's no need for you to understand when it failed. Because... Um... It doesn't matter, because it's not gonna fail. Even if you don't think you're gonna be good at it, do it because you enjoy it, not because you think it's gonna turn into some big grand thing. It's important to enjoy it, otherwise it's so easy to get burnt out, so you really gotta be careful. Here we go! Good job, team! It's heist time! Here we go! Barbed wire? Before we go in there, what exactly are we looking for? I guess I'll never know. I guess I'll never know. I, I guess I, I don't get to know what we're looking for. Wait a second. The door was already open. <laughs> no, he's too far away! Maybe so, but it wasn't today. Maybe, maybe you're right, Carl. Yeah, what's he right about? He's so far away. He's so far away. What to put in a VTuber audition? Whatever you think best represents you. Someone was in here recently. How do you know that? The layer of dust isn't as thick as usual. I haven't been here in ages, but something just feels different. Like someone's disturbed the energy of the room. Since when are you the mystical type? Hey, back off. I can sense these things. You'd better take a look around. Maybe we will find something unusual. And Muffy's archives like this are full of secrets and treasures. In real life, I guess they're full of boredom, too. How sad. 
medical records, doctor's letters, studies, lab results. Some of these documents are older than my parents. There must be loads of thrilling stories stashed away down here. Probably not. VTuber auditions are just like auditioning for any other type of like entertainment job. Wait, parkour? Hello. Look up here! Finley, get down from there. You'll break your neck. Mia's right. We all know how these boxes are out to get you. How did you get up there anyway? It doesn't matter. Someone's taken some folders off these shelves. You can still see a print in the dust. It's pretty obvious something's missing. What? Let me see. Parkour! Yes. Oh, I love Rin. It's definitely not normal. I know it doesn't look like it, but there's actually a system in this archive and something's clearly missing here. This empty space should be filled with at least seven years worth of receipts and bills. You're right, Carl. Why do you sound so surprised? I thought you'd be used to that by now. Do you think this means anything? I think it does. What's really interesting is that all the missing files should belong to the same time period. They'll all be docked. There'll all be documents that would potentially be needed for communication with the health insurance companies. Those kinds of documents don't just disappear, but they might have been moved to another location because they're still needed. Like an old hospital bed on the fifth floor, for instance. That's gotta be it. There must be someone who knows about this. Dr. Theobald, maybe? I don't think so. He hasn't been seen in a while. It's Gregor! You have a blow high. Oh, I want one so bad. I want one so bad. He hasn't been seen in a while. Should we go to the police? I live so far away from any Ikeas, though, and they don't ship to my area. There's someone outside. We need to get up here quickly. Agreed. It's Gregor. Oh, thank you so much for your support, Quill. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the stream. I don't think Lopi watches me. What are you doing down here? Carl, is that you? Sir, no, we just stumbled on something big. Have you seen Dr. Theobald? We need to speak to him urgently. The boss haven't seen a whiff of him. I need to see Halil and pick up some blood results. It's not like there's anyone here who's actually meant to be working on our ward. But you'd better settle in anyway. That crowd outside's way bigger now. I wouldn't be trying to head home right now if I were you. Not that I can think about clocking off too much to do. The wards are all pretty much full. So come on, make yourselves useful. Sandra's right. Finley, we should lend a hand on the ward. What about the missing documents? I'm sure that can wait. We need to give Gregor his key back, then help us out upstairs. You're right. Throne would have one what? Throne would have what? I have a throne. I have a throne, but... Oh! oh! You're right! Wait, you're right! No way! I'll add one. I'll add one. Uh... Wait, but if I'm gonna add one to- Yeah, my throne's in the description. I don't think I have alerts enabled, though, because I changed the uh, thing. So, um, essentially... It'll just show up at my house. How do I- Hold on. Hold on. How do I enable throne alerts for my stream? Throne! Gifts. I forgot the important part. I could use a little help here. That was Ingrid. Let's have a look. Oh man, I'm not logged in on this PC. Um, I do have a throne, but the alerts aren't set up. So unfortunately, I won't be able to see it in real time unless you tell me. If you tell me, I will go check. I will go check a Roblox stream. I played a little bit of Roblox, but I just don't enjoy a lot of it that much, you know? Oh wow, I'm, I've changed clothes. That's okay, now I look cute. Let's have a look. Ingrid, are you okay? Oh man. Down with St. Ursula's. Here comes another of those bunglers. Ralph, you crackpot. <laughs> just go home, okay? <laughs> you can't just come in here like this. It's not allowed. Please. Just let us do our job. Who did I commission my VTuber model from? It's from Decaf Studio on Twitter. Their, uh, their at is in the description as well. Check them out. They're so great. Just let us do our job. The noise you're making is bad enough. But more importantly than that, you're blocking the main entrance. That means you're stopping us from admitting any more patients. Please, just leave. I really want one of those shark kitty plushies. Bah. Oh, oops. Who's going to stop us? You? Patrick here has a terrible ailment. Exactly. Ow, the pain. That's enough. Not only did you cripple him for the rest of his life when he injured his arm years ago, that nasty little runt attacked both of us just the other week. Patrick's still recovering. I mean, he did do that. He did. That is true. And that's not even mentioning the psychological trauma we both suffered. Don't be ridiculous. Ow, my arm. See, we have every reason to be here, and every right, too. 
If you break a bone when you're an adult, though, it'll mess it up for forever. My mom broke her foot and it's messed up. We're not leaving until we get some answers. Get the chief physician out here now. But hasn't Dr. Theobald come to speak to you already? He assured me that. Of course he hasn't. Wait, where is he? As if you would get his... Oh, I can't say those words out of that comfy chair. We all just listen for one minute. If he's not going to come down here, we'll just have to take this to him. That's right. And you know what else? Let me through! Help! Quickly! Oh no. Oh no! Hey Orpo, welcome, welcome, welcome. Renee, what's up? This person, they were just standing next to me in the crowd. Then all of a sudden they fainted. I just managed to stop them from hitting the ground. They don't look good. We should take them to the ward. Typical, always the same. The next poor soul for you to bleed dry. Finley lend a hand here. But what about Dr. Theobald? I'll try and find out where he is. And I'll try and find out more about the missing documents too. We'll talk later. Alrighty, let me through you scumbags. They woke up, they fainted and then they woke up. You're not late, you're never late, no one's ever late. The patient's in very poor condition. I'm glad you brought him to us. Do you know what's wrong with him? I'll take care of this. Please, just give me some time. Mia Finley, please look after the ward. There's a lot to do as ever, and this isn't helping. Sure, we'll take care of it. I want to help too. Good. Ask around the other wards and see if anyone else can help out. Consider it done. We got more tasks. I heard that um, this game has a very unsatisfying ending though. So I feel like I, I feel like the ending might just spring up on us. You know, does do you need any help here? What I need most of all is time. The best way for you to help me is to take care of the ward on your own. Amity from Owl House, do I look like Amity? I feel maybe the hair, maybe the maybe a little bit, the short hair. But I'm not Amity. I do love the Owl House though. Forgive me if I can't wander your work as closely as usual. You and Mia have been here a while now. Prove to me that I can trust you with our word. I will. I will. I am a trustworthy person. Here we go. I'm good at what I do. No one died yesterday. Oi! Hello. Greetings and the same to you. You're struggling with inflammation after an abdominal injury, right? Let's take a look then. Yeah, I chopped my finger yesterday. I don't know on what. I think it was just dry. Oh. A, B, C. The orange threw me off. It's been too long since I played this game. I don't remember like 90% of these mini games. Did I get an A? Did I do it? Did I do it? I did it! Do I have any other outfits? No, it's only these two. I am planning a third though. I am planning a third. This is textbook inflammation, but I can see you've had all the important vaccines. We need to cool the wound properly and you'll need antibiotics to treat the infection. Got it for now. I'll keep just keep as still as possible. Good idea and get well soon. We did a good job. We did a good job. Here we go. Oi! You didn't see my shirt? Oh, you saw my shirt. Yes, the shirt went up at 11.30. I see you have a gastrointestinal infection. That's true. And you had a colonoscopy last night, correct? There are probably better ways to spend your evenings, right? You're not wrong there. All right, let me take a look. Okay. We're gonna put the tummy there, the bone there. The skull and the eyeball. Okay, okay, so it's definitely these three, right? Right? So let's do tummy there. Uh, bone here. 
water droplet there. And then not the tooth. Not the foot. Hand, maybe? No, because it can only be three. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's these ones. Okay, and it is the bone. So the bone's gonna go right there. And then this has got to be... Bone. Water. The tooth. It's gotta be the tooth. It has to be. Excuse me? Tooth there. Hand here? Nice! We did it! We did it! A thousand dollars isn't much for a model at all. And that's with the art and rigging, so it's extra cheap. No serious abnormal abnormalities were found during your colonoscopy. Your symptoms indicate a flu-like infection. That's good because it's treatable and it shouldn't trouble you for too long. But we need to get your electrolyte and water levels back up and you need to make sure you drink plenty of fluids, preferably tea. Okay. We did it! Gotta get dinner. Go get dinner! Enjoy your dinner. Yes, $1,000 for art and rigging is really cheap. Something. I'm sorry that I failed your carrier eraser. Something's not right here, is it? Honestly, I'm not sure. It sure feels that way. The protest still going on downstairs is getting bi It's got bigger even. Yes, I noticed. And we've had someone collapse on us too. One of the staff? No, a protester just keeled over out of nowhere. <gasps> Dr. Krakowski's diagnosing him now, but we don't know what's wrong with him yet. Hmm. You know, I've worked in the healthcare sector for decades. There have always been scandals, arguments, criticisms. Some time ago, a large number of hospitals came to a decision that would end up having huge ramifications. Healthcare was improving. People were healing and recovering faster. In a very short time, the average length of a patient's hospital visit was halved. Accordingly, the hospitals decided to half their numbers of nursing staff, but the workload remained the same. So then came the overhauls, the saving strategies, that kind of thing. We're still seeing the effects of that decision today. I also see the shortcomings here at St. Ursula's, too. You're gonna go. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, thank you. What I'm trying to say is... I know what you're going through. I'd like to take a look at your readings, if that's okay. Of course. I'm good at this. Look at me go. But, 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 but. No way, I'm a winner. Okay, so that's gonna stay. Bone, foot, tummy, water. Heart, bone, tummy, skull. Oh! I definitely feel like the heart is one. Heart? Foot? No heart there. Foot there. No. Wait. Foot there. Wait, we've tried all of this! Wait a done darn minute. Guys, what is it? What am I doing wrong? So heart's gotta be here, right? And then... Wait a minute, wait a minute. If we go up, if we go up, 
but look, heart, bone, tummy. Those, two of those are right. So, I'm thinking the heart and the tummy, right? But it can't be, it can't be the tummy. The tummy's not one of them. So put the foot there. And then the bone there, we did it! We did it, I'm a genius! Go really, what, what, what? I was too focused. Home stuck. He went to jail. I'm almost afraid to tell you this. What is it? Is it all over for me? No, quite the opposite. Your readings have improved significantly. Hmm. I wasn't expecting that, I must admit. But that's all part of the profession, too. Funny how things turn out sometimes. You should rest a little more. I think you'll be able to go back home soon. Your wish is my command. Oh, and one more thing. If I can help in any way, just say, I'd be glad to. That's really nice of you, but you're a patient here. The only thing you need to work on is getting healthy again. If you insist. Look at me being a good doctor! Finley, can you give me a hand, please? Here we go. Hello. I've just finished my assignments. That's music to my ears. Can I take a look? While well, we're looking after the board on our own, we should compare results to keep each other on track. Check me out. I'm a winner, Mia. I'm literally a winner. I'm literally a winner. S tier, because I'm a god. Oh, wow. That's pretty good, Finley. I don't think I can perform as well as you under stress. I've got to say, I'm a little overwhelmed right now. All our beds are occupied. I can't keep up. We'll manage it. I need to head up to the fourth floor for a few minutes. They're having trouble there, too. Everyone's pitching in where they can right now. Can you take on a few more people? Sure, I'll hold the fort. Thanks. I'll be right back. Here we go. Didn't I just talk to this guy? Or was that... Was that not, oh, okay. Good evening. Tell me how you're feeling today. I've had awful stomach cramps ever since last night. And diarrhea in my head feels like it's about to explode. The injection will help keep your pain in check at least. Okay. I feel like I'm going to die. You're not going to die. You're just being a little dramatic, sir. Oh, right here. Definitely right here. Blah! I didn't do enough. Is it going to give me a B for that? Is it gonna give me- Oh, no, I got an A. Okay, I'm a winner. I'm a winner, so- Okay, injection done. I hope it kicks in soon. I've never felt this bad in my life. We'll give you a full checkup as soon as we can. In the meantime, try and get some sleep. Please hurry. There's something really wrong with me. I know it. He'll live. He'll make it. He'll figure it out. Oi! To 301. Oh, oh, it's both of them in here. Hello. Good evening. Can you tell me how you're feeling today? I'm trying to connect with the patients. You know, this morning it felt like the flu. Now everything hurts every breath I take. And how's your digestion? Everything went right through me this afternoon. The painkillers didn't help either, only a little. I'm going to take your pulse, then we'll see what we can do for you. It's okay, it's okay, they're in good hands. Okay, W and S, down and up. Okay, arrow keys, we got it. Da, da, never mind, they're just dead. I don't know why it gave me an X for that. That was completely uncalled for. I did not deserve an X for that one. I won. I won. We did it. I haven't heard of that character either. Your body's fighting something. We're going to find out what it is as quick as we can. Thank you. I hope it isn't contagious. Or is it always so busy here? Don't worry about that. My colleague will be back to check on you soon. again soon. Yes, I can read. I'm great at this. Here we go. Hello! Good evening! Can you tell me how you're feeling today? Struggling for air? Everything hurts. Help me, please! Of course, we'll adjust your medication. Thank you. Let's give them a proper amount of medication this time, because last time I messed it up. Everything, everything looks good here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Look at me. I'm a great doctor. Hey, I did it. I got warmed up, guys. Okay, my colleague will be here in a minute to give you your new medication. Thank you. I don't want to die. 
We'll do everything we can to make sure you get well soon. I promise you that. Her name is Clown Piece. Oh, I'll have to look that up. You guys should trust me because I'm the best doctor ever. I literally just am the best doctor ever. See, Mia, check this out. Oh no, I'm sorry. The fourth floor is even fuller than here. All the beds are occupied. There was some talk about whether we could fit more beds in somewhere. And then there was an incident. An elderly lady collapsed. I had to lend a hand for a while and I didn't know the place so well, so it's all right. Take a deep breath. Better? Better. How did I go here? It went great. I'm done with everything so far. Can I take a look? You sure can. Look in shock and awe. Frowny face? That is uncalled for. Why do I have a frowny face? Miss ma'am, I know you're having some trouble right now. But like... The, uh, the audacity. The game is gonna follow porcupine. Everyone seems to be doing better. It's nice to know I can trust you with my tasks in case of an emergency. I'll try to return the favor soon. Thanks for taking over. How do you feel? No problem! You're really tough. With all this running, I might as well quit the gym. I could really use some coffee right now. Let's do that then. Now at this time of day, I'm dead tired actually. Have you heard from Carl yet? No, now that you mention it, I've not spoken to him. <gasps> Should we give him a call? Maybe he has some news for us. Good idea. Let's call him. Hello, sir. And? He's missing nothing. He's not picking up. Strange, I hope everything's all right. They bonked him. Finley, Mia! Come quickly, please! The patient in room 302 is really sick. We can't stabilize him. Oh no! What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Clearly, I don't have the best track record with things like this. Oh, wait! That's the guy who collapsed! Finley, Mia, quickly! No, no! They're gonna be mad at us! Oh, we stabilize the patient. The cramps keep getting worse. The patient is unresponsive. We need to... He's fixing to die, see? No! No, they're gonna be so mad. It's not our fault. What? Dr. Kukowski, I... Be quiet. Sandra, take the... De the deceased details? Oh my goodness, not even a... Oh, man. The patient has suffered from severe and irregular abdominal cramps. Someone poisoned him. We noticed heavy gastrointestinal bleeding. Dr. Linwood advised against surgical treatment. The blood work needs to be evaluated immediately. We know the bleeding was caused by a bacterial infection, not poison. Everything else will become clear soon. Please leave now. Is there anything we can do? Yes, there is. Please give me a little space and get some rest. But don't you need a break? Not right now. This is an extreme case. I will consult Dr. Gotera and wait for the results from Dr. Halil. He was poisoned. He has to have been poisoned. I need you fresh and well rested in the morning. If this patient fell sick without warning, others could too. Even if there's no indication of a direct risk of infection, please be prepared. Wait! Well, no more tomorrow. Wait, but so many people were complaining about these. Wait, oh no. Oh, oh, this is bad. This is bad. The game can't end with everyone dying, can it? We gotta speed run this faster. I gotta know what happens. Here we go. What a night. Yeah, what a night. Whatever, time to get to the hospital. Oh, we already slept. We're already rested. I still don't have a plant, but that's okay. Oh, wow, look, I got the little trophy. It's my turn with the trophy. Oh, how cute. There can't be a plague. That is uncalled for. There's nobody here. It's like a ghost town. That's because they're all in the hospital. They all died. That would be a horrible ending. Is this the way the game ends? I did say that people said that the ending was very unsatisfying and like snuck up on you. So is this the ending? Is it gonna sneak up on me? Honestly, that would be very funny. Not gonna lie. That would be a bop of an ending. It would be so funny. After like a nice little happy chill game. Like, oh no. Suddenly everyone died. Oops. Ambulances. Ambu wait, 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 ambulances. Hospital bed outside. Wait, wait, what? What is this? Um, hello, I'm here for my shift. They look pretty chipper and alive. Hello, Ingrid, what? Finley, I really can't talk right now. We're getting overwhelmed. The wards are almost full. We've got more people coming in with the same symptoms. I'm trying to organize more beds. Make yourself useful and get to your ward. Okay, fine. Jeez. Good morning to you. Have you ever played Night in the Woods? I haven't, but this game was based, like, it was inspired by it. The art style and stuff. 
Hello? Why is there suddenly a plague? Hello, ma'am. It's pretty crowded here. How is the night shift? Don't ask. I'm pretty sure my bloodstream is like 80% coffee right now. Don't you want to take a break? Nope, nope. Break later. Things to do. They want us all to head to the break room. Dr. Krakowski's got something to tell us. Works for me. I was just going to get myself another coffee anyway. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Is Dr. Theobald dead? Is Carl dead? Where are they? Why didn't they come back? Wait, what is this? What is this? Hello? Good morning. I have a small announcement to make. You look tired, Dr. Kukuski. Let's stop. <laughs> of course you didn't go home. We know more about what we're dealing with now, but we still need some time. The bacteria is aggressive. We've been able to contain it to a certain extent, but some patients are still experiencing internal bleeding. But that's not what I called you here for. As you may have noticed, our wards are full. What's more, a few of our staff has all, have also started falling ill, and more people are admitted to the test to take us on. We want full capacity. And what does that mean? It means that if we run out of space, we're going to have to turn people away. But yes, I know. This is new for me, too. But we have no choice. People are already been being reallocated to other hospitals in the local area. But the nearest hospital is over an hour's drive away. We can no longer treat them here. I would ask you to take note of this information. We can't just send people back onto the streets. You know some of these people might be seriously ill. We... Well, this isn't good. Wait a minute, Dr. Kukuski. It's Carl! He's back! He's alive! Carl? What are you doing here, Carl? Don't you know you're not currently authorized to be here? Yeah, yeah, blah, blah. Any idiot can see the hospitals bursting at the seams. Oh, yeah, he got fired. He's on leave. So it seems how are we to explain your presence? I can't just sit by and watch people croak. And I won't let you down just because of some stupid forced vacation. Who's going to stop me? Dr. Theobald's vanished into thin air. If he wants me throw it out, he can come up here and try it with his bare hands. And what's your plan? You think you can conjure up a second hospital with a wave of your magic wand? I don't need to. The board on the fifth floor. Dr. Krakowski, we can get it running again. There's plenty of space up there, and most of the beds are still in place. That ward has been out of operation for years. What, so you'd rather send all those sick people back home? If they're gonna die, they might as well be in a hospital very well. I won't claim I'm happy about this, but since you're already here, get the fifth floor ward up and running as fast as you can. Oh, Carl, with that. I can't say I'm surprised to hear you volunteer, Finley. I'll go to the lab and see Dr. Hello. I hope he has good news. Mia, Sandra, leave this, I leave this ward in your hands. Are you up to the responsibility? <clears throat> yes. Ain't no thing. Good luck, everyone. Now, get moving. Come on, Finley. Let's take a look at the ward upstairs. Here we go. We got a buggy. What was your message? What? It changed it to a wink? Wee. Look at the way my wings puff out when I jump. How cute. Ah. Uh. Oh, that's not the fifth floor. Here we go. Oy. Oh! You put a wink at the end and it changed the entire thing. That's funny. Do you really think we can do this? Sure we can. There's a lot of junk lying around and we've got no electricity. But if we work together, we'll get the hang of it. It doesn't have to hold together for years. Just long enough for us to ride out this wave. I'll deal with the bedrooms. You take care of the corridors. We're not trying to win a prize for best interior design. Just clear enough space so we can get through. Understood. Okay, sir. Here we go. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's clean up. Look at me go. Look at me go. Yes, all of my emotes have been added, so everything will be there. <laughs> it's as good as new. Why did we stop using this word in the first place? It has a lovely rustic charm. Maybe it had something to do with all the mold. The discarded machinery. That thick layer of dust that's covering everything. All right, all right, you've made your point. But the dust only moved in here later, you know? Okay, we've got almost everything we need. We're just missing the power. I might be able to help with that. I once administered emergency treatment to the junction box in surgery. I'm afraid this ward doesn't have a junction box. When the others got refurbished, this one was just left to rot. I'd guess the breakers for this ward are down in the basement. That's where the main distributor is. I'll go downstairs and turn on the power. Get, I'll get started filling up the beds and rooms. There's plenty of people waiting downstairs after all. Here we go. Whee! I know Twitch.
Twitch has like a pronoun plugin, but I don't know if YouTube does. And it does require everyone who wants like theirs to be visible to also use it. I might look into downloading something like that though. Here we go. Yeah, I just default to they, them too. This game is getting so chaotic. Here we go. Am I in the right spot? I sure hope so. I might be in the wrong basement. There's like two basements. Anything over here? Oh, is it you? It is you. Hello, sir. Flip. That's it. If I carry on like this, I'll be able to qualify as a professional electrician soon. No, I need to. Oh. I got a burp. Now I need to get back upstairs. Carl's on his own up there. Here I go. I didn't. It just wanted to like spite you that time. Hold on. That's Dr. Theobald. What were you thinking? Have you any idea what's been going on around here? Yes, I know. Of course. That's why I'm here. Just listen to me for a moment, please. I had to go. I couldn't stay here anymore. I take full responsibility. I always wanted the best for St. Ursula's. Believe me. A few years ago. I was appointed chief physician, but not without help. Roman Heydrich always already held a lot of influence over the hospital even back then. I knew he was a bad person. He offered me the position of chief physician as part of a restructuring. At the time, I thought it was the best way for me to actively help the hospital. I was still too young. I hadn't really earned the position, but I went along with it. And Roman supp supplanted my predecessor for me. We had big plans. Everything was great at first, but Roman put more and more pressure on me. He had interests of his own. He didn't even try to hide them from me. He kept coming to me with the strange ideas. He wanted to take more and more money out of the hospital. When I refused, he started blackmailing me. I had to sign bills, purchase orders, and other documents for him. Otherwise, he would blow the cover on our agreement in a chief, chief physician. I would have taken the fall for everything. That's why I went along with it for the good of the hospital. However, as we drew more and more public attention, Roman got cold feet. He took off and advised me to do the same. Sooner or later, his scam would be uncovered. And well, here we are. But I couldn't leave the hospital in such a time of need. I will take responsibility for what I have done. I'm so sorry about everything. I never should have. He didn't cause the plague. He didn't do that, at least. Yelly, yeah, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Pull yourself together. Look at yourself. I'm furious. I never have thought you were capable of such a thing. If you really care about us and say Ursula's, then get a move and help on. Uh, get a move on and help the staff now. We don't have time for all this whining. But I slap. Bam. I'm witnessing an assault. Um, is it the zombie apocalypse? I have a green. I need a drink though. My throat is hurting. Dr. Krakowski, what's going on here? Finley, what are you doing here? I thought you were on the fifth floor. <laughs> no matter, the power's gone out. Maybe we overloaded the grid. That we did. The hospital's running under. Wait, what about the people on hiking life support and stuff? I'll speak to Gregor. We'll get this under control as quickly as possible. And I'll make sure that all the wards can continue working. Finley, please go to our ward. Check on me and the others. What about Carl? Carl is extremely experienced. He'll be fine without you for a few minutes. I'll be there in a minute. Got it. Here we go! Um, it's the zombie apocalypse has suddenly started. Not really, but there's like a major bacteria plague outbreak that has suddenly happened. I mean, I feel like hospitals do have backup systems for their life support machines. They don't just like... They don't just let you die, you know? Where are they at? They're not on the fifth floor. Oh, it's so spooky up there. I thought they were on the fourth. I thought they were on the fourth, but clearly not. They're on the third. Oh, she went up to the fourth, but we work on the third. Okay. And then she came back. Hello. Mia, the power's out. Yes, I can see that. Or rather, I can't see a great deal of anything right now. Are you all right here? Do you need a hand? We'll muddle through. Sanders got the ward under control. Where's Dr. Krakowski? She's checking all the wards have everything they need. Dr. Theobald is taking care of the power failure. Dr. Theobald? Did I hear that right? Yes, he's back. I just ran into him while he was explaining himself to Dr. Krakowski. He was... Did I just air this all out? Wait, what's that? Wait, is it on fire? Wait! Wait, what? what? What's going on? What is this? Wait, why is it so aggressive all of a sudden? Can you smell at me? What do you mean? What do I mean? It's on fire! It smells like smoke! Are they burning it down? The fifth floor? It's on fire? Wait, 
then why is it coming from the bottom? Maybe it's coming under the door, what? We just got the ward up and running, everything was going great! Then there was this huge bang, sparks flying everywhere, and all the old junk up there just caught fire! We have to get out of here quickly! Where is Carl? He's still upstairs! We're trying to get everyone out of there! We are going upstairs, I have to check out Carl, should I come with you? You stay here! Make sure that we're evacuated! Ah! Oh. Uh. Um, okay, I can do this. Renee, could you help me a please share a thing? See you in a minute. Um, this game just, oh man. <laughs> I don't know how this is unsatisfying because it's heckin' funny. It's so entertaining. Everything that could go wrong is just absolutely going wrong. It's so dramatic. <laughs> Carl, are you there? Over here, quick, we need help. Hello? Maybe we found out why the fifth floor is um, bad. The bed's stuck. Help me move it. They're gonna die anyways from the bacteria. That's fine. Whee! Come on, sir. Here we go. You think it's gonna have a good ending? Maybe, maybe. I don't know anymore. I don't know. Me and Kim, they wouldn't just blatantly kill her off like that. She's not even on the one with the fire, too. She's not even one with, like, on one with the fire, so I think she'll be okay, right? That almost ended very badly. Thanks, Finley. What are we going to do now? We need to put out the fire. First, we have to get everyone out of here. <laughs> There's a plan for things like this. We evacuate everyone to the school gym hall. Then we stay there until the fire's been put out. We contact the other hospitals in the area and get people out to them as soon as possible. Until then, we keep going. So get everyone out. Get everyone out. We can't use the elevators, so I'll need to carry people downstairs. Benjamin and I can man the stairs. You get to the bottom of the stairs and take the beds as you pass them down. Demi and Archie will be waiting at the front entrance. I don't know these people. Take the beds to the front of the building. What about the other wards? They'll all be doing the same thing. Do you think Dr. Krakowski and Mia will be okay? Yes, we'll help them in a minute. Thank goodness we hadn't filled this ward up to capacity yet. Okay, come on. Oh, I skipped it. Here we go. Here we go. Down to the bottom. Hi, sir. I can't believe it. I'm on the wrong floor. How could this happen? It's his fault. This is where I need to be. Here we go. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Okay. Let's go. I'll take the one in the back first. Why not? Here we go. Getting everyone, everyone out of here nice and safe. Am I gonna die? They're not cooking, they're fine, they're fine. It's just the glare, see, they're fine. They're all gonna be fine, it's fine. Why am I the only person down here doing this too? Why don't I release them on TikTok? You know, you would think they would become way more popular that way, but that is not the case. That is not the case. My TikToks don't do very good. And also, I don't really like splitting my audience, you know? I prefer to have everything in one spot. But I did used to do TikTok. There was a time when I was a TikToker. They're not bodies, they're alive. They're breathing, see, look at them. Look at them breathing. Yeah, I no longer have a TikTok that's active. You were born in a transphobic- Oh no, that's not good. Remember to be safe though, remember to be safe. Wait, 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 wait. these guys are running. Wait, your doctors, help. Why are they running? They can take a bed. They can take a bed. Excuse you, y'all. Y'all don't get to just run past here while I'm in here pushing these patients out and you guys just ditch us. Like, what? What? No, no, that is not how this works. That is not how this works. Mia, you ain't ditching me. Dr. Krakowski, you ain't, you are not ditching me. You are not ditching me like this. Excuse you? Excuse you? We have a job to do. We're working. 
That's everyone. Is it not? Hi, Dr. Theobald. Finley, you're still here. You need to leave. I'm trying. Take the next transport to the gym. The rest of the staff are already on their way. I'm sure your services will be needed there. Don't you think I should do another check of the hospital? We might have missed some people. We definitely did. I've been to a lot of the wards. I'll do one last round of the ground floor, then I'll be right behind you. I'll come with you. You've done well. Better than I could have done. I'll, I'll be alright. Just hold... I'll just hold my stethoscope tight. Go now, Finley. And thank you. He's fixing to die, but you know what? He caused this, so like... He caused this. He caused this. This is his fault. He's gonna go down with the ship. Hello, sir. I'm looking a little rough. <laughs> Just a little rough. Taking a nap. Sir, please don't die while I'm napping. Did I do it? I'm alive! Hello, Mr. Firefighter, sir. Or EMT, sir. Come on, get in here. EMT. The others need you. Okay. Hello? Oh, she's looking a little rough, too. Ah, Finley, there you are. We need all the help we can get right now. Come on, take care of the sick as best as you can. I'll assign the teams that I'll help out as well. Okay. Hello, sir? Press E. Okay, let me get in gamer position. I'm kind of sliding down my chair. Here we go. It's gamer time. I ain't gonna let this person die. I'm the best doctor ever. B. A. W. R. C. U. N. L. H. T. A. P. X. K. V. He's fine. We did it. He's fine. They're all fine. They're all gonna make it. They're all gonna make it. Oh, no. This one might not, but that's okay. That's okay. Majority. Majority rules. I think failing me twice is a little uncalled for. He made it! He made it! He made it! We did it! He lived! Is everyone else good? No. Hello? See, they're all fine. They're just being a little dramatic. We did it! We did it! See, yes they are. They're fine. They're literally fine. They're literally fine. See, look, this one's gonna be even better than the last. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. They're gonna be okay. They're gonna be okay. They're fine. There's other doctors here who are better equipped than me, and they can they can deal with it. They can deal with it. What are you waiting for? Show me what you can do. I'm trying. Excuse me. He didn't die. He didn't die. He lived. He lived. I'm not the only person here. Mm-hmm. See, this is my chance to redeem myself. This is my chance to redeem myself. <laughs> wait, did they die? Did they die? Whoa, 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 wait. Did they die? That's not even my fault. Did they- They died! Finally. 
Fin oh, I thought she said finally. She said Finley. She said Finley. Leave it. Dr. Kukowski, glad you're here. This patient's very sick. Um, he's dead. I. She's beyond your help now, but <laughs> can't you see? The woman's already dying. I didn't kill them. That was not me. That was actually not me. But I can. Because that one I had an A on. I did good. You can help me. I need you up front urgently. Please come with me quickly. Don't, you're no better than the protesters. It wasn't my fault. I couldn't have done anything. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. I had nothing to do with that. Get through the night. Achievement. Where am I going? Am I just walking off? I quit. Where is she? Where is she at? Is she this way? Am I going the right way? Maybe. Camera's moving. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, guys. Hi, Melanie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I didn't even do anything. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> Is this the end? Is this it? Oh no, the hospital. Is this the end? <laughs> what a bizarre ending. Is this it? <laughs> What an ending! <laughs> That's so dramatic and for what? <laughs> That's so bad. That's so funny. I actually really genuinely enjoyed this game and I feel like having such a horribly dramatic ending is so perfect. That's so funny. What? The ending is so funny. Porcupine is the city. And the city fell because everyone died. Ah. What? <laughs> yeah, this is a great game. This is such a funny game. <laughs> ah. Um, and Brianna, hi guys. These are the credits. Honestly, what an amazing game. What an enjoyable game. I love this game so much, y'all. That was so, like, out of pocket. Oh my goodness. Let's just sit back and listen to this beautiful music. I didn't even murder them. They died on their own. It was bacteria. That's so funny. <laughs> you don't want an ending spoiler? You literally just missed the ending. It was so funny though. That ending was so good. It was so funny. Am I a beta tester? No. Just one breath away from eternity. Oh, summer's gone by blink of an eye. And technically, I did get this game before launch, though. <coughs> summer's gone by I could have been a beta tester. Oh, summer's gone by like a stranger on a sidewalk. Is this a custom song? Or am I about to get a copyright hit? It has the same background music as the rest of the game, so I'll turn it up that way y'all can hear it. You thought could never end. But now it's barely I hope that you still remember me Like a melody that is still stuck in your head Stuck in your head You're still stuck in my head I'm dancing, that's what's happening Summer's gone by in the blink of an eye It's a fine line between good times and memories just one breath away yeah, don't spoil the ending in chat. We can laugh about it and say that it's funny, but don't say exactly what happened. Because I feel like the shock of it all is good for it, too. I'm like a chicken. That's why my next day's in one place. Always summer's gone by. Oh, summer's gone by. 
for the rest of the stream star stable online it's bad it was 14 out of 20 though right that ain't bad that's oh wait wait wait, wait no no that's stuck to the appalled <laughs> i told you i told you he wasn't gonna do it after credits Bye, sir. Oh, it's me I lived. You're running away. You better run. I don't think I think it's just that though, right? What a fun game, honestly. What a great game. <laughs> that ending was so funny! <laughs> it was so out of pocket. <sighs> that was a bop. Where's my almonds? I'm hungry. I can say Star Stable online, but I'm also hungry. Do we wanna just end the stream, or should I just go get food and then come back and play it? Do you guys wanna keep streaming and eat food and then go back to games, or... Do you want to just call it? Get food and come back. Keep streaming, keep streaming. I'm seeing a lot of keep streaming. Let me check my email real quick. I love checking my email, guys. It's one of my favorite activities. Brings me so much joy. Oh my goodness, what a fantastic game. Like, I know that they gave it to me for free, so technically it's like... I'm biased or whatever, but oh my goodness, it is such a fun game. <laughs> that was a great game, guys. 20 out of 10. Uh! Nothing I do gets beast anymore. Makes me sad. That's okay, though. You can't live off of one video forever. It'll come and go. It'll come and go. Membership stream, even though everyone's a member. Yeah. Um, oh, wait. Actually, let me update my, my members stuff then. While we're all here, I think I am just going to right away give the tier 5 or the $5 tier access to the streams since they will in the future anyways blah 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 y'all can have the streams too and then the ten dollar tier perks to be added. Mid August. Wait, I don't think YouTube's gonna approve that, are they? Here, 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 here. Um. I'll put this kind of merchandise. I'll put, I think this kind of merch. And then I'll figure out, wait, can I do that? I don't want to lie. Stream elements, merch. It does have. An integration, right? So I can do that. I can give you guys this kind of merch. Twitch streamers. Twitch streamers. Does it allow YouTube streamers? I 
I don't think so. So I can't even have that, can I? Um, I'll just put early access. It's fine. Actually, you know, it's fine. I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it. What it's going to be is early access and eventually, hopefully, discounted merch if I can figure out how to do it. Yay! We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how that works. Okay. Since y'all are saying a different icon for $10, it's the same icon. You can only do the same icon. It's for based on... um. It's based on... Can I do a different icon? Am I lying to you guys? Hold on. Um... Yeah, no, it's the same badge. I can't change it for different tiers, but it's for seniority. It's time subbed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's for the time subbed. I would like to do discounted merch, though. Can I make my hair long? Yeah. But. Hmm. To keep streaming or to quit? Take it down. I don't know. I might honestly wrap it up here. Not gonna lie, because I do have to go to the store today. So I might wrap it up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Because I'll be able to work on a video for you guys. And I'll be able... I'll be able to get next week's stream schedule working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got some stuff to do today, guys. What do I got? What do I got for my schedule? Oh, yeah. And the next stream is going to be tomorrow. Look forward to it. And then next week, there's also the 25K special on the 25th. Ah. So there's going to be a stream Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So we have a whole heckin' ton of streams next week. Look forward to it! All of the streams start at the same time, 11 a.m. Central. Which is also the time that this stream started, so look forward to that, guys. And then, the week of my birthday, which is the week after next week. Oh, thank you so much for the gift sub! Thank you, thank you! Thank you for the gift of membership! Thank you so much! Um... It's going to be a little bit slower that week since I've got quite a bit of a uh, dental work getting done. And that's going to suck, basically. That's really going to suck. So, I'm going to be away for that, to deal with that. And then I'll be back! I'll be back. I'll try and make sure that I've got everything pre-recorded. That way you'll still have shorts and hopefully videos and whatnot. To keep you guys getting through. But yes, I'm going to go now, guys. You guys are all the best! Thank you so much for your support. I hope you guys enjoyed this game as much as I enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. I'll see you guys next time. I can't wait. I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm sorry. I got stuff to do. If anything, if anything, I might pop up again later, but probably not. So don't look forward to it. But look forward to seeing me tomorrow. <gasps> what are you gonna say, yellow axolotls? We're waiting on you. What are you gonna say? Hi, Tanya! Bye, Tanya! <laughs> thank you for stopping by for two seconds! Thank you, thank you! Thank you for your support. <laughs> you have too many anime things. You just joined- Oh, no! Everyone's joining. I'm sorry to everyone who's joining. Bye-bye! <gasps> I'll check your drawings on Discord, don't worry. Bye-bye! You can say that you love me as long as it's platonic!